This is Phyllis from Hasseline Software, and I'm going to uh, give an overview of backtesting. So basically, um, backtesting uh, occurs um, in uh, the trade bots, but basically we have two different uh, ways of doing that, and um, you know, you'll know you generally be using both. So we have uh, backtesting an entire trade bot, um, which includes any safeties, indicators, and insurances. Um, but we also have um, a single indicator uh, backtest. So I'll start off by demonstrating the uh, single uh, indicator backtest. So here I have um, Stochastic at 15 minute with a length of 22, with a buy level of 20 and a sell level of 80. Um, this is generally good for um, you know these uh, small uh, you know um, little fluctuations in um, a sideways market. Um, but it really does well with really small fluctuations. Um, so I have this. I'm generally happy with what this looks like. Um, so we have this, and then so say if I wanted to, you know, run like see what it looks like at 30 minutes. You just update, click on the little rewind button, which is back test indicator, and just say yes, and then it'll go ahead and do that. So um, looking at it from this view, it actually looks pretty good. Um, yeah, 30 minute looks a little bit. This guy's buying a little too early, so I want to tweak that. I will uh, change the deviation to 2. We can see how this changes it. Yeah, it's still buying a little too early, but for the purpose of this, it's fine. Um, I'm not going to spend a few minutes tweaking it for you guys. But um, yeah, so say I'm uh, generally quite happy with this. Um, it does pretty well. So um, 30 minutes it is. Um, and so we have that. So say if, uh, so once we have like an ind indicator that we like, um, we could add more indicators and keep in mind that when you have multiple indicators, um, that, they, that they must agree on the same uh, trade signal in order for a trade to um, go through the insurances. But um, say we have this and, um, you know, I say I want to run like, Actually, I'll just run, won't run anything. So say, okay, we have this, we have our ball that's already set up, and we're going to backtest. So I already set it up as it's going to be in the sold position, meaning I have uh, US dollars, uh, for a fixed amount of 0 0.03 Bitcoin. So um, we're happy with this, and we're gonna go and backtest. So we're gonna click on the rewind button within the trade bot. This is the, um, you know, we're gonna backtest the overall trade bot itself. So we're going to back test, and then we have option of 24 hours, one week, two weeks, one month, two months, six months. So let's just see how this did over a week. Or, yeah, we can do a week. So start, and then it'll run it, and then it'll literally simulate the trades. So at the very top, we'll see that we have 24 trades. We have a negative profit of 0 0.33, so we would have lost 33 cents uh, running this uh, indicator over one week. And um, if we want, we can go ahead and uh, view the trade bot trades, which is uh, the little paper um, icon. So yeah, then you can view exactly how it would have traded, and that's you know cool. Then you can tweak, you can add stuff. Um, and uh, before the thing that you really need to know is that before running another back test, you need to clear the uh, statistics, which is clicking on the little eraser button. And I'll say, are you sure? Yes. So that way we get zeroed out on the number of trades and profit. And then we need to go back to trade settings and check the position. My position actually stayed the same, but when you backtest a trade bot, it literally simulates the trade. So the position may get changed. So it's important to keep that in mind. Um, a quick tip on this is that if the number of trades is an even number, um, your position will stay the same. But if it's an odd number, then your position will have changed. So that's a little quick tip about that. Um, so yeah, and once we do that, we can just save it, and then we can run another back test. So say we want to see how this would have done in one hour. We can go ahead and go back and back test it. And you notice that there's less trades. There's eight trades for a profit of negative 23 cents. So yeah, that is the overall um, uh, backtesting. Um, you obviously can you know, create your bots as uh, complex or as easy as you want. But um, yeah, that's essentially it. Um, 
And if you have any questions, feel free to reach us on our forums or shoot us an email. Good luck and happy trading.